jos vor merge la o peșteră, la Cueva del Viento, este o atracție mai neobișnuită pentru că vom merge printr-un tunel pe sub pământ aproximativ două ore. Ziceți și voi ceva. Ziceți bună dimineața, abonați! Haideți că am ajuns aici la peșteră, la intrarea din peșteră, de fapt. Haideți să mergem să vedem ce trebuie să facem. Cred că trebuie să luăm un autobuz. Tati s-a dus să parcheze mașina, că a parcat-o greșit într-o altă parcare. Uite, este parcare de aici, de la Coeva de Vientos. Deci sunt autobuzele care ne vor duce pe noi la, la peștera aceea. Hai să filmăm puțin și aici de unde am luat biletele. Dar nu avem ce să filmăm. De aici vom lua niște căști pentru că e destul de periculos. Și aici cred că ne arată niște imagini din munții Teide. Yes. Okay, um, you've come to visit the sixth largest lava chamber in the world, so the tour is going to be around two to two and a half hours. We start here. We have an introduction, then my colleagues take us to the forest, we go for a little hike, we go underground, and then we hike back up and they'll pick us up afterwards and bring us back here. There are only toilets here, so <laughs> afterwards it's rock and forest, so my recommendation is before we get in the cars that you then go to the loo before we go, okay? Um, I like to ask my visitors where you're from, okay, um, to connect with you a little bit better, so if you'd like to tell me where you came from today. From Germany. Right? From Germany. Good morning. Uh, UK. UK, welcome. Romania. Romania, welcome. Netherlands. The Netherlands. Belgica. Belgica. You speak a little bit of Spanish. Wonderful. Okay, well I'm originally from England um, and I've been here for a long time so perhaps I can be considered an honorary canary woman and I'll be telling you a lot about our island today. Is it everybody's first time visiting here? Yes. Yes? Okay, wonderful. Right. Well, let's go to back to the beginning then. <laughs> so, we're on Tenerife. This is one of the islands of the Canary Islands. It's the highest island. And you're in the northwest section over here. This island is 12 million years old. Okay. The whole archipelago is 22 million years old. And it's been forming little by little from a hot spot of lava coming up from the ocean. So, little by little we grow and we pop out of the ocean as islands. Okay. So you've got Teddy here, lies at 3,715 meters tall. Then you have Old Peak next to it. This one lies at 3,134 meters above sea level. You don't need to put your helmets on just yet, so you can just put them on your belt or carry them in your hand, okay? All right, you. You are between the third and fourth layer of vegetation we have on the island. We have five in total. Sorry, between the second and third. So, when you're down on the coastline, you have all the plants that used to be covered in salt water, growing in sandy or rocky terrain. And when you travel up around three to 400 meters in sea level, you then find the thermophile layer. That's things like dragon trees, palm trees, euphorbias, prickly pears. After that, you have the green forest. Sephora e supărată că nu și-a luat apa. N-avem voie să luăm nimic cu noi aici pentru că este periculos.
Let's turn yours on. Perfect. Carol, Carol, no, trebuie so stai cu mine. Yeah. And I am going to readjust your helmet because it's not in the right place. Hi, Carol. Yeah. Hi, Curaj. There you go, perfect. Turn yours on. Să nu zici că intrăm prin pătrățelul ăla. <laughs> Îți place zebenucul? Îi stă casca prost. Nu e așa fric, dar eu e răcoare. Aveți emoții? Se vor ai emoții? Jos. Now, the Cave of Wind has its name because of the skylights across this labyrinth. So normally, it's very warm outside. It's 12 to 14 degrees here, and the temperatures move around the air, and it creates a breeze. So yeah, we call it the Cave of Wind because of the breeze. Pe veluș a găsit niște marcaje pe jos? Da. Ce marcaje? Niște boline ca să marchez. Niște Bă, ne facem praf adită și pe aici. Ia uite cum e pe aici. Îți place? Interesant. So we're going to use this wall to lean on over here now. That's it, come on down. That's it. Wonderful. That's it. As we're moving around and seeing pieces like this, this will help you understand the ceiling and the layers. That's the comfy boy. Okay. So we've got layers coming across, and you've even got a piece here which is just disconnected and dropped, okay? So there are layers upon layers and things can collapse. Marianne, Why do things collapse? What happens with a volcanic eruption? We talked a little bit about it before outside. The earth shakes, right? So we get seismic activity. So things can fall due to seismic activity due to the first crust layer, which is usually the thinnest and very, very delicate, and it can fall. And This can happen during the process or afterwards, okay? Îți place, Carol? Da. E interesant aici? Da. Ia zile la abonaj, ce se află în peștera asta? Se află în Tu ești camera, Manu? Eu zic că se fără e frică aici, de aia nu E, nu e frică la bebeluș aici. Da, că vine tarantula. Ce se fură casca? The line of cooling and the stabilization level. If I take my torch up a little bit higher than my head, and have to bear with me, my torch is being moving, and it was cooling, and it stopped at the step furthest away, and then the last movement, advancing bit by bit and cooling, made the next step. Okay. Ah, it's you. I thought it was me. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We have the same alarm. <laughs> Cred că am lumina cea mai puternică de aici. Da. Nu? Da. Dar de ce? Nu știu. Eu luminez tot cu peștea asta. Ce fain e pe aici. Suntem pe inginer. Nu e de jos. Acum mergem printr-o peștere destul de mică. Ce fain e pe aici! Dar deosebit de periculos. Dacă nu ești atent, te împiedici rău de tot pe aici. Sunt tot felul de chestii. Pe jos, Carol, ai mare grijă să nu cazi. Mergem printr-o peștere destul de mică. Avem un bebeluș de 5 ani cu noi, singurul care a parcurs această peșteră din istoria tenerifei lui. Singurul bebeluș și ia uitați-l cu murcă. Ia uitați bebelușul cu murcă. Darkness, okay. So basically, 
all the life down here, we put it into three categories, all right? The three categories um, describe different types of life that is down here. The first category is the permanent residence. Life that never goes to the surface, never sees the light, and always is in darkness. The second category is called occasional visitors. Life that chooses to come in and out between the light and the dark whenever it wants to. You fall into that category. You book the tour, you're coming to visit, and you'll go back whenever you want. The third category is accidental visitors. So do you not do any caving anymore? No, no, it's uh, 20, 30 years ago. Oh, okay. So when I was young, but I never had my uh, this person. Mm -hmm. Maybe the stupid person. No question is stupid. Malaria, walks, unde a căzut doamna aia bătrână? Doamna aia bătrână a căzut aici, prin mai multe tuneluri, ați înțeles? Uite în gaură asta aici. Nu vreau, lasă. Vise și urât noapte. Mami, eu am visat... Eu am visat de trei ori. Aici sunt niște poze de păianje. Mami, eu am visat de... Mami, eu am visat de trei ori. Mami, eu am visat de trei ori la piscina aia naturală. Mai sunt oameni în spatele noastre. Mergem acolo, da? La piscina naturale. E aici, la Garacico. Nu merge la piscina naturală în peștera. Nu la aia, mă, Doamne, ferește. Am visat de trei ori piscina aia naturală. Mami, am visat de trei ori piscina aia naturală. Odată când aveam doi ani. Arată pe Iangini. So have a little look at these ones, and as you come by, just over there, there's another one. Come on, Jose. Come over. Stand there, sir. Maya, you can't miss the road. Since the day we Over here. If you can see it from there, you are going to close. Can you see it? Yeah.